Hello everybody, as you can see in the background, we kind of finished the house now, at least the facade is finished and the only thing that's missing is the water tank, which they're supposed to put in today as well, but they're saying this for weeks now. But we get the furniture delivered already today and this is the final video of the construction series for now. I want to go back for a few months and show you how I initially designed the bar. What I was doing today is laying out my future bar setup here. So this is what I planned. Over here we will have a nice big TV. On this side here we're gonna have a, a sink and then a little uh, trough beer area. And this corner here we'll have one or two beer fridges. I actually made two plans uh, because initially I thought of perhaps squeezing in a little kitchen here as well. But now after laying out everything it's just not enough space. So I decided just to have a bar here. This is how it looks now in the end. On my brand new website I'm gonna lay out a complete timeline of uh, when I would like to finish which part. If you don't know the website yet I'm gonna put a link in the description. Namos now, that's one of the biggest uh, furniture shops here in Podgorica and I really like this kind of bed. I'm not the biggest fan of that thing behind the pillow, so I think I'm gonna check out some more spots. Casa shop. Uh, it's all Italian stuff here. It's like three times more expensive than the other place, <laughs> but it looks much nicer. I actually jumped into yet another shop. There's one after the other here in the street. Uh, this one's called Se Zanka, kind of, I don't know. Yeah, this bed in the wardrobe actually is the first one that I like so far here. Combination of the colors here, I kind of know, so it's my favorite so far. So I'm at Seta Designs here in Bar now and these guys are doing all my wooden furniture within the bar and also in the outside areas. They're gonna do some benches, uh, a pergola later on, some picnic benches and then the complete inside of the bar pretty much. I think they already started working on my stuff. Quite massive and they have all these huge machines. I have no idea what they're doing, but <laughs> Zeta Designs, if you want to check them out. I'll put a link to their website in the description. Already finished my picnic tables. It looks really nice. We still have to uh, decide on the color. They already showed me um, another example with a dark color, which I would like to have for my bar. We kind of finished the house. Just today we finished the facade and um, all the floor tiles are in. The only thing that's missing is a little bit left of the paint. You can see around the door because the door was just recently installed. For me it's time to clean up now because tomorrow we're gonna get my first furniture uh, for the kitchen here and my uh, wardrobe and my bed. <laughs> for the day. Um, sadly I can't close the door yet because we still have that huge hole in front of the entrance and they were supposed to fill up the hole today. Uh, it didn't happen and yeah I hope they do it soon. I really like the way my furniture looks. So next day we have the next delivery and this time it's uh, Seta Designs. Benches, we have some picnic tables, the complete interior from the bar will come from them.
we also have the Mtel guys. This is Erwin. His colleague is gonna climb the mast now. 200 Mbit, so it's really nice for the Montenegrin countryside, pretty much. <laughs> He's already on the ladder. <laughs> So the Mia was the guy on the ladder, I would completely freak out on that height. It's good to have internet already. <laughs> Good morning, the guys from Sita Designs are back and they're gonna put everything together today. We're gonna start with the bar actually, which turned out super nice. And they're gonna put up the six meter long seat row on this wall uh, with three small tables. Absolutely in love with the color of the bar here. It's a little bit of a darker tone compared to the rest. And uh, we've got the super nice door as well with a double hinge system so we can kind of move through it from both sides. Got a lot of hanging shelves everywhere. happy with the work they've done here with the wood it looked absolutely amazing the bar wood once you come here in person and you touch it it's so smooth and it looks so awesome and then we got this huge six meter long bench here and we're gonna have three small tables there yeah with the newly installed mtel router and uh, modem we have all of these things uh, all the technical stuff hidden in that box now and outside we also have one more bar with the same color Hi, I'm Toprak Pala. I'm one of the owners and directors of Zeta Design. Hi, I'm Tolga Pala. I'm also one of the owners and directors of Zeta Design. We are really happy to work together with Chris on his amazing idea to make it reality. We work with passion and precision. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Customer, customers. <laughs> we work with passion and precision to realize the wishes of our customers. We as Zeta Design are the place where your dreams come true. And for example, let's check out the hanging bar. The hanging bar is up now. It looks super cool. I wanted to show you the outdoor benches here. We placed everything already. I've got these for the fireplace and I have uh, two more on the picnic table and I've got two benches at the tower. The pomegranates are ready. I had some juice already. Really, really tasty. I have to mix it like 90% water and 10% juice because it's so strong. And I found some mushrooms uh, for the first time. Super small ones right on the path. I wonder what kind of mushrooms they are. If you know, let me know in the comments. What I'm doing now is I'm building a, a little trench because we started to put the first outdoor lights. Let me show you how that looks. First lamp will be right at the Gubno here and then the cable is going underneath the ground now. And then we've got one lamp here. It will provide some light on the picnic area. And from here, it will kind of go through the collapsed stone wall. It's perfect for a little staircase. I think the lamp on this tree looks really nice. There you go, perfect color actually. Put the cable through the tree because it's a bit hollow and it comes out here. And they're gonna build a tonnage here for the water to flow around the corner. And uh, once we have the water set up and I've got my entrance area done, I can pretty much move in.
pomegranate trees and harvesting them. So many pomegranates here. Um, I've got around 100 trees of them, but uh, a lot of them don't really uh, have too many fruits because they haven't been pruned. But this basket is just from uh, three trees right now. I'm gonna have pretty much unlimited pomegranate. Tomorrow we're gonna drill for the mountain water. That's gonna be exciting. There's some rain supposed to come in two days or three days and after that it's gonna cool down to 18. We're already in November and uh, yeah, it's getting towards winter now. I'm just gonna squeeze some pomegranates now to make some juice and yeah, rest up the voice and hopefully tomorrow I'll feel a bit better again. Ah yeah, I'm definitely not resting enough and talking too much. Today, it's a big day, we're gonna drill for water exactly on that spot there, right next to the tree. I had two people coming in to check independently and they both said 100% and it costs 70 euros per meter to drill the hole and put the pipes in. And before they come, let's go back in time when we had the first water test. That's it. You're the nice. He's checking if there's any water in the ground to dig a well. We've got one spot up there already. we actually have water here he's 100% sure apparently exactly where he's staying now in the middle of the gunor of the round stone circle Day before the rain comes in, we're gonna have the second water tester coming in, and some old guy from Petrovac. So about a month ago, we had the first person here, and he uh, discovered that there's some water down here in 10 meters, and then up next to the tree in around 60 meters depth. And I just want to have a second opinion before I get the drill people in. If he finds the same spots, then hey, let's go and drill, and I can have my own mountain water. That would be amazing. Uh, I'm still not believing it until I can actually have it in my hands and drink it. It's also the spot where the first tester had the best results and now the other guy kind of confirmed it. He was a bit more detailed. Um, he could also tell me how much it is. It's 100 liters per minute. This spot right there in between 30 to 35 meters step. So the other guy said uh, 16 to 20 meters but uh, he was referring to where the water starts and this guy is saying like the best flow or the strongest flow is at around 35 meters. The first big truck was just loading off all the pipes here. But yeah, now the big machine is coming, the, the drill. I'm gonna extend, you're gonna see in a second. The way it works is that they have a lot of these little pipes here and each of them is one and a half meters. We just uh, put the first one into the ground so we were drilling for one and a half meters now. Okay, 
at 10 meter 50 now, they always put three pipes at the same time and each of them is 1 meter 50. So now the next three pipes are coming in and then after this throw will be 50 meters. So far no luck. Twenty meters now, still no water. The sad moment we reached uh, 33 meters and didn't find any water sadly so even though the water testers were both like 100% can't really predict it for sure you don't know what's going on down there so um, yeah I tried at least it's like an expensive day for sure but um, quite the experience with this huge thing but sadly no water Got this 35 meter deep hole here now, and now I'm gonna get my fridge and the washing machine delivered. I'm actually, just waiting for them to make space. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the door guy once more to hook up my door but I think in the future I'll have to use my big tank here even though I wanted to use it as a very big wine cellar. The big tank will allow me to collect rainwater as well. It will store water for probably like a half a year or so during the winter time. So I think that's the reasonable thing to do. The electrician is here as well, he's finishing up the outdoor uh, lights. These outdoor lights look so cool and we were not sure if they would last all the way to the end because they are coming from the from the house here. They're all the way up there on the tree and the further away from the source the weaker the light could be but it was still doing pretty well so maybe I can even go further into the backside and install some more lamps. But for now, today we're gonna have the gastro group coming and deliver all the stainless steel equipment for the bar. I hope the plumber will come as well today for the pump. And once we have the pump installed, I can fill up the tank with water and move in. Pretty much the door's inside now, so getting really close now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We've got this really big uh, fridge counter here, the sink, a glass washer, table and in that corner over there, uh, ice machine. The space down here is reserved for the kegs, for the draft beer and the cooling mechanic, because mechanic, this will be my draft area. And the last open spot over here was reserved for two fridges. Both will be like around 60 centimeters wide and it's perfect space. As you can see, we thought of everything that everything fits in the end. And I think this space I will leave open so I can talk to my guests. I can just stand here and over here I'm going to have my payment terminal. But I think I will open for, for New Year's Eve now because we had a bit of a delay. It's already November. I wanted to open 22nd of October originally. Now it's like two weeks after. If I want to go home for Christmas, the time between opening and then closing again for my trip to Christmas will be too short. You can get a DJ and have a nice uh, New Year's party. And then 1st of January will be the first uh, day where yeah, I'll have the day-to-day -day business. Hopefully I'm gonna find a bartender. I still don't have one. If you know somebody who speaks Montenegro and English and lives in the bar area in Montenegro, be free to give them my website. I will post the link to the job listing into the description. Also, we still have to get like the sliding door and the sink installed. For the sink, the Zeta design guys have to do a custom-made 
furniture as well. And then we're going to put the sink on top of that. So those are the things that are missing. It's not too much left now. But for today, yeah, I have to go to the city now, buy some stuff and I'll see you in a few days. Bye bye. Yeah, today was supposed to be rainy uh, from kind of now, but the sun is still out. It is windy, so it really feels like something is coming in. And I just want to try to clean up a bit because you can see in my room it's a, it's a big mess here. And um, yeah, sadly there's a few problems with the paint. I've been trying for two weeks now and it still doesn't look like the same color, sadly. And yeah, generally the paint crew and the people who did the facade, they didn't really cover the windows. A lot of windows are really dirty, especially downstairs in the bar. But also like the big ones here um, from both sides. I already cleaned this once, but now I have to... I bought some proper cleaning stuff to clean it uh, in a better way. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. And if they come to fix, they want extra money for everything. So I'm done with my rough cleanup and now the wind is picking up and it's getting darker and darker. I think the rain will come in pretty soon. The windows are still a bit dirty but much cleaner than before. And I put everything in the right space here. Coming to place, over here I will have a small 50 inch uh, TV. Not as big as the one in the bar. But uh, that sofa and the chair in the corner, those were planned for the bar as well and they don't fit in there anymore now. Because we added some more wooden furniture. So I decided to put them up here and I really, really like this kitchen. Actually, I like all the furniture. I love the fridge as well, it looks so cool. And yeah, super happy. Just have to uh, get the water and then it's time to move in. But now we have a few days of rain, so probably they will delay it. Yeah, the bathroom is also pretty much complete. We've got the boiler installed, we've got the washing machine that's not hooked up yet because the water isn't working. The toilet and the shower glass. Sadly, they misplaced uh, it a bit because it was supposed to be one meter and he put it one meter twelve. Now my uh, pole is not uh, fitting anymore, so I had to buy another one for one meter twenty. Just to secure that glass here next to the wall. It's just gonna go up here. And yeah, nice little walk-in shower. Yeah, I've got a water problem, as you can see in the background. Uh, the, the door was closed, everything was closed when the rain came in a few days ago. And yesterday I, I got in here in the evening to check if everything is waterproof now, after we finished the facade. But it looks like from that spot over there, there's still something coming up from the roof. So the roof is the problem for sure and we have to uh, keep working on it. And I also want to put some ceramic tiles on the roof actually. But yeah, that rain was a good test because now we have a week of um, yeah, dryness and then the next rain comes. So hopefully by the next rain, we're gonna fix it up. And um, I'll have a waterproof house because <laughs> I'll definitely need that. And then I need uh, the water connected and then I can move in. But um, yeah, I'm not sure how long this will take. It might take a few more weeks. So I decided to move my opening of the bar to the 31st of December to New Year's. And that allows me to go home to Germany first as well. Um, so mark your dates in the calendar if you want to come by. By then we will have these problems fixed for sure. And yeah, that's it for this video. That was the last video here actually for the Montenegro Tower construction series. Um, we're gonna have more in the future for sure, but the next one will cover Nepal in the Three Passes track. So we're gonna see some landscapes and hiking videos again now on the channel, four of them in total. This is not good, uh, we have to take care of that. I hope the guys can come soon and check it out. <laughs> Alright, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe as usual and I'll see you next one. Bye bye!
You made it to the end of the video. That's awesome. Thank you so much. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button as well. Leave me some feedback in the comments and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. A special shout out to my Patreon supporters as well. If you would like to find out how you can support me and receive monthly benefits such as receiving postcards from me or me being your own personal triple then check out the link below.